In today's video, we're going to talk about overcoming homeschool doubts. Be back in just a second. Hi, my name is Becky and welcome to our Russell's Loving Life YouTube channel. Here on this channel, we talk about homeschooling, homemaking, and everything in between. I am a homeschooling mom of two and I have been homeschooling since 2012. We also have a blog, which is russellslovinglife.com. Make sure to check that out. There, I give you tips and tricks and things that I have learned through my years of homeschooling. If you are new to this channel, please consider subscribing and clicking that little bell notification down at the bottom. That just lets you know every time we upload a new video. And if you are a returning Russell fam, we are so glad you are back. With everything that is going on in the world today, so many mamas and daddies are making the decision that they want to homeschool their children. That is their decision. That is your decision. That is what you have chosen to do. It was the best decision I ever made. I have been doing it since 2012. I currently have a second grader and a seventh grader, and I love every minute of it. Is it always happy? No, but I love spending every moment I can with my children. So today's video, I am going to encourage you and support you in your decision. And I'm going to share with you five things to help you overcome those homeschool doubts. The first thing that we're going to talk about is yes, you can homeschool your children or your child by state laws. You can do it. It is your choice. If you want to homeschool your child. Now there are state laws that you have to follow. So make sure you check into those, but I am here to tell you that if you want to homeschool your child, if you have made the decision to homeschool your child, you can do it. I know there are so many naysayers out there. So many people that tell you that you're not going to get it done, that you can't do it or whatever, whatever, whatever. You just got to learn to tune them out and focus on what is best for your child, for you and for your family. So if you have made the decision to homeschool, don't give up. You can do it. Is every day easy? Are you going to have patience every day? No, you are not. No, it is not going to be a cakewalk, a walk in the park. It is not going to be super easy, but it is so worth it. So on those days that you are struggling, and you feel like you can't or your children are struggling, just know you can do this. And not every day is going to be picture perfect. That's life. Life is not perfect. And going into homeschooling and knowing that for a fact helps make everything so much easier. It helped me talking to so many other homeschooling mamas. They told me that from the beginning. They said it was the best decision they ever made. And for me, it was the best decision I ever made. So no, you can do this. I know I keep saying that and know that every day is not going to be picture perfect, but that's life and you can do this on those days that everything is upside down. You will figure out what works for you on those days. If you have things you need to do, or if kids wake up in a mood or you wake up in a mood, figure out something to start everybody's day and make it a little better. Turn it into a fun documentary day. Come up with a fun activity, play music, dance, bake something, change everyone's mood. And once you do that, the day will get better. The third thing I wanted to share with you is do not stress. If you do not get everything done that you have planned that day. Those days are going to happen. And I have to say they happen a little more than I thought they were going to. And that's okay. What I do is I just roll it over to the next day and we double up on something and you can't stress. You can't look at it and say, okay, I didn't get everything done today and that's not okay, but it is okay. I am that type of mama that I have to check those boxes when it's done. And if they're not checked, that drives me absolutely crazy. I am a list person. I've got to check it off and say it's done. It's off my plate. But let me tell you, my list never ends. And it may be like that for you. But from these years of homeschooling, I have learned 
that it is okay if that box is not checked. If we have to go a little longer in the year, then we go a little longer. We typically homeschool from the end of September to the end of July. If I have to go a week into August, that is fine. We turn into year-round homeschoolers. That is okay. Make sure your state laws though, because I know some states require you to start and stop at certain days and requires you to have so many days in there. If you have to do it on a Saturday morning to get it done, then you get it done. But do not stress if, not, if you don't get everything done. The fourth thing I wanted to share with you is homeschooling can take place anywhere. It can take place on the trampoline. It can take place on the kitchen table. It can take place on the kitchen floor, on the living room floor, out in the front yard, on the back patio, in your car. It can take place at the grocery store. No matter where you are, there is always a homeschooling moment or a teaching moment that you can do. So just know that you don't have to be sitting at a desk, at a table, in your special homeschool room, because my special homeschool room is my dining room, kitchen, pretty much anywhere in the house and outside, and it even takes place sometimes in the car. So just know that you don't have to have a designated homeschool room to be able to homeschool, so don't let that stress you out. The fifth and final thing I wanted to share with you about overcoming homeschooling doubts is if you have many children, then you want to focus on homeschooling as many subjects as you can together. Now there are unit studies, there's box curriculums, like we use My Father's World. If you're new to this channel, we love My Father's World. I have been using it since I started homeschooling and I am going on my eighth year using it. So check that out. If you are new, I highly recommend a box curriculum for first-time homeschooling parents because it gives you everything you need. But anyway, to get back to the overcoming the doubt of homeschooling is teach your children as many subjects as you can together. Now, we teach Bible, science, and history together. If you're doing a foreign language, you can do that together. Um, now, you're going to have trouble doing your language arts and your math because your children are gonna be spread out over different ages, but try to find a curriculum, a unit study, or however you're homeschooling, but try to teach as many subjects as you can as a family, because that makes it so much easier on you. I hope you found this video to be supportive and encouraging. That's what I try to do here on this channel and as well as my blog. I try to give you as many homeschool tips and tricks and things that I have learned through my years of homeschooling that I can share with you to support and encourage you on your homeschooling journey. Just know that homeschooling can be overwhelming, but it doesn't always have to be. You can overcome this doubt that you have. Don't listen to people that tell you that you can't do it, that you're crazy for doing it, or whatever they're saying to you. Just know there is a support system out there for you of homeschooling mamas that will support you and encourage you and answer any questions you have and help you overcome your homeschooling doubts. As always, remember to be kind, be careful, be considerate, and have a great day. Bye.